Hello everyone, in this video we are going to make this kind of motion graphics with procedural particle system. I have just released a new version, version 2.3. It has many new features and nodes. The setup is really simple, so let's get started. So if you have set up on this extra nodes as your as a library, then you can find on this particle system in your asset browser. So here so you can directly drag this into your file okay so you have this particle system and let's go to the geometry nodes so if i run this you have this kind of default scene with this particle system so these are the forces nodes and these are the utility nodes and this is the particle system nodes okay so this is the overview for this particle system you have input section then you have simulation nodes then you have this uh, forces section and after that you have particle system output and then you have this section where you can instance any kind of object onto the particles so let me disable this one so let's start from this so first we don't need this kind of emitter uh, for this example and we also don't need this so we can delete the emitter object and we can also delete this target object and let's also delete these uh, target forces and in this side we don't need this thing uh, because we don't want to scatter anything onto the points so let's move this to the side now we have this setup so let's go to the first frame so in the simulation you can define your start or end frame for the animation then you can define the time step and sub step so in this version you can basically animate this time step you can slow down or speed up this uh, particle simulation as we have in the blender so in this case we need this uh, time step to be 0.1 and after this you have emission settings so we need this mission to be start and frame base not continuous and all the particles should be emitted on the first frame and in the emitter we're going to use the points so for that we have to enable this emitter as points and we can disable this one and here we're going to input the points from the spline so let's create the spline or the curve from the string so let's type here k so we have that key letter so first thing is it should be at the center the size should be 5 meter okay then we have to realize this and after that we are going to duplicate these uh, splines uh, for 5 times the idea is it start with a single thread and then slowly spread into a multiple threads okay and for that we have to also offset this by a small amount because all the splines are on the same position so they will experience the same force and they will move together in the same motion so that's i don't want so we have to slightly offset them so that they have a, a different force so let's make this point zero one so this is before and this is after okay so let's plug that into the point so now we have completed our meter settings and after that we have this particle setting here we have to change this life to be same as the this animation range and also make this a meter plus t0 so now if we play the animation these planes are moving uh, based on this turbulence force so let's uh, make this strength 2 and this is 0.1 and the scale is 3. All these values are based on the practice uh, so you can play with these uh, values. Okay. Now we're going to add the curve force. 
so you can add this curve force from this shelf by duplicating this node or you can add the force from the search menu okay keep in mind that uh, don't delete any nodes uh, from this shelf as you add this particle system from this asset browser you may not have the fake user so when you reopen your file uh, then you may lost some of the nodes okay so you can add this force in any order except a few of the forces that are listed in this nodes call gradient particle collision collision force hit and stick those forces should be at the end of on this series uh, rest of the forces can be in any order okay so let's plug this as our curve and we have to enable this one and make this tangential strength 0.1 radial should be minus 3 minus means it is attractive and plus means it is repulsive make this distance 0.3 and fall of a distance 0.5 okay so within this distance this strength is zero as the distance increase this strength will reach its maximum value so it is something like that initially it is zero then increase to a maximum and after that it become constant okay so now if we rerun this we have this kind of motion so now we're going to resample this a spline so that we have smooth curve so if we read on this see we have more lines and they become more complex as the animation progress so you can play with this length step value uh, don't make this too small otherwise you have a lot of points and blender may crash okay so you can start with the very large value and see it is not working so make it half slightly better then make it another half yeah we can even make it smaller so in this way you can basically find a good value for the length for your project the motion is fine but it is slightly fast so we can slow down with the drag force okay so let's make this 0.02 and let's see see it is slowly moving around this key letter uh, now we're going to change this letter with time okay so let's duplicate that so we only need to change this here for this force not this for the input okay change this to s and let's add the switch node and plug this into this and then this into the car and here we're going to add the greater than node and then add the frame time frame so let's type here 160 so after 160 frame this will change into s we can also see them let's add the join node and plug this into this and we can see them as they change okay so we have this k and after this come s see and all the lines are wrapped around this letter s you can type any kind of text you can also add our two letters see it's wrapped around this both the letters so you can play with this uh, curves you can also use your own custom curves as a shape for this uh, spline okay so now let's add the geometry uh, to these curves so first we're going to add the geometry to this so let's add the c to mesh node curve to mesh node and then here we're going to add the circle change this to six and 0.05 it has a slight problem near to edge so that can be resolved with the resample node so let's change this to length and this should be around 0.05 okay and we can also add the set material node 
so that we can set up the material for this text and here we can also add the profile or the geometry to these lines uh, before that we're going to add a few nodes let me show you the problem so it will be somewhere here see we have these sharp edges so i want to smooth them so we can smooth that with the fillet node so let's increase the count to three see we have this smooth corners and after that we're going to also add the set normal node set curve normal uh, because for this we're going to use the line profile so that may flip around as the normal of these curves change so that is important so let's add the line and this should be 0 0.01 0 0.01 and this should be 0 and after that uh, we can add the material node here so this is the geometry for these lines so overall this is the complete setup so now let's create the material and lighting for this okay so let's go to the shading so by default this particle system come with this uh, material it has particle info node that provide all the attributes of the particle uh, that you can utilize for making the material in this case we need a different material so let's delete that add a new material called text and this should be only emission type make this a blue color and we need also a second material that for the lines that should be a metallic and roughness around 0.5 so now let's select those this is for the lines and this is for the text and let's go to the material preview and enable this bloom and make this ambient inclusion off so let's go to the render mode i think we have to change the hdr image so i'm using this uh free add-on which uh, come with blender easy hdr image so you can utilize this and make this 0.25 and background color should be black yeah let's go to the top view i think we have to slightly shift this so that we have few highlights uh, from this hdr image something like that and this roughness of the metallic texture uh, will going to bring some lights uh, from the this emission shader now let's add the lights the first light should be at the center of this letter k strength around 250 and the color should be blue okay so let's run the simulation yeah something like that now i think we have to slightly offset this along the z-axis see we have more highlights and also disable the shadow for this then duplicate this one and place somewhere here change this the color to orange red type color duplicate again and place near to this side so let me show you the lights okay so now let's run this see i think this looks amazing and this light combination so in this way you can easily create this really cool motion graphics with this procedural particle system so this is it i hope you learned something uh, from this video so if you like then please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more updates uh, you can get this preset uh, from blender market gumroad or from my patreon page on my patreon page you will get all the project files and all my presets so see you in the next video happy noting bye